uh, your regular altimeter. For nearly a year, Nick Pershalski flew Black Hawk helicopters like these in war-torn Iraq. As part of the Florida Army National Guard medevac company, it was his job to fly wounded soldiers to safety. We did save uh, countless lives doing what we did. But of all those lives saved, there's one that touched his heart in a very different way, the way only man's best friend can. This dog ran up to me, uh, ran up to our group, and she befriended us immediately. I gave her a bath. She wasn't the color she is now. Uh, gave her a bath, and since then, you know, she just stayed around. Her name became Aries. Nick built her a kennel in the hangar, which must have felt like a resort to the once feral canine. It brought great morale to myself as well as the team the whole group. It felt like a little piece of home. She'd hang out with us. She was constantly with us. They'd built a bond in the most unlikely of places. Now back home, Nick hasn't seen Aries since March, but that changes tonight, thanks to the help of the SPCA International. I'm a little nervous, I'm a little excited. Aries and Nick will be reunited when she lands in Tampa. Their new home together is about as far away from a war zone as she can get. I'm excited for her reactions of seeing nothing but desert to having a yard of grass and trees, being able to run after squirrels. Things she never would have known if she hadn't been saved by this rescue pilot. She won the lottery, really, you know, and a lot of the other guys said, yeah, she won the lottery.